What is up guys, it is Nisha here and today uh, we got ourselves some more news, um, some pretty decent news actually, um, since the uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! OCG ban list for July 1st, 2017 uh, finally got revealed and it is definitely um, real juicy, <laughs> um, way juicier than a lot of ban lists that we've been seeing from the TCG side, because um, you know, the TCG side is kind of dull when it comes to ban list and uh, the OCG side is definitely um, a lot more uh, experienced in the field and more consistent in the field as well so um, they always do better when it comes to you know like uh, actual um, game management you know in my opinion so let's just start off with the ban cards uh, we got one band only one card, one card was added to being banned, and that's Zodiac Broadbull. Um, Azu is a pretty broken in general, and Broadbull being able to search any Beast Warrior. The fact that he was a generic rank four as well, and he could search any Beast Warrior from your deck, um, kind of like a four strix, except for Beast Warriors instead of Wing Beast. Um, and not only that, but you know the fact he could just be summoned using one Zoo monster is uh kind of a double two reasons to get this guy out of the game and uh zoos already have two of their exceeds banned and you know they've barely been out for like a year it's only been like six months maybe like nine months in like japan's side but for us it's only been six months and um although we over here in the tcg haven't seen zoos get hit yet um other than rat um in the ocg it's been nine months and they already lost uh, Barrage and Dryden and Broadbull and Rat is only at one there so Rat's pretty useless but um yeah Zodiac is just one of those sexes just real broken real overpowered so for the cards that are newly limited um, we have Masterpiece um, Fairy Tale Snow and Dracona Diagram um, I did say before in a previous video that I do think Masterpiece should should get limited because, you know, Masterpiece is, I think it was in my Harpy Lady deck profile, like, because Masterpiece is a crazy card, and I don't think having multiple ones out on the field is fair. I think having it at one is definitely um, more than fair, and um, although it is, it, it can still be considered pretty broken, uh, one Kaiju could just get rid of it, you know, for good. Uh, Fairy Tale Snow, um, she was way more broken in decks like Zombies and Light Swords, where uh, either you could stack up your grade to so much where you wouldn't care that you banished, or um, you would get effects off of banishing certain cards. And she was more of a card that uh, really was like more of like um, a backup plan, you know, like a, a contingency just in case things went wrong. Or she could be like Exceed Father, Synchro Father. Um, she could even help you OTK because of how how often you got to use her effect. Because you know it's any time during you to play's turn. And even if you just play Normal Summoner from your hand, she's an 1850 hitter that just book a moon one of your opponent's monsters. It's definitely more than useful. Um, she she is a pretty strong card by herself, and her being at one I think is fair because. Um, you know your, your opponent's not going to see her as fast because you know the problem with her being at like two or three is that your opponent got her too like so early that you know she would be a uh, more more of a problem like early game but her being at one that, that won't always be the case so she may not show up until late game and, and you know by that time you may or may not have something to actually deal with her you know so yeah uh, lastly, we have Draconic Diagram Limited, and uh, I honestly think this was one of the best searchers in the game. The fact it can search Masterpiece, it can search any of the True Kings, um, just by popping any card, uh, any other card in your hand or field. So it definitely was real broken, and um, it's really understandable why they actually banned it. I mean, not banned, limited it. Um, they, they're not killing off True uh, true Kings, that's uh, True Draco completely, but they are definitely giving it... Um, you know, uh, they are like 
making sure that the deck is like too overpowered and power creeping it kind of um in a way because true dracos will still be playable and i do think zoo will people will still try to play zoo because we have chocodyne or Leica as she's called in ocg and she does open up more combo potential in the deck so the loss of broad will doesn't hurt too much but it definitely does hurt still especially in ocg man zoo and ocg is just crazy right now i i don't know how they'll be able to do it but um, only time will tell. So, semi-limited, we have Perform Power Pendulum Sorcerer, um, Wish of the Black Forest, Skarm, and Rescue Cat for the monsters. So, uh, Sorcerer, I, I, I don't remember if he's coming down from 3 or coming up from 1. I don't remember which one it is for Sorcerer, but, um, you know, Perform Pals, I, I guess, needed him. If he's coming up, I guess P Perform Pals needed him. Um, if he's coming down, then... I don't really know how to explain it. Wizard of the Black Forest, I know she's definitely coming up. Um, they give her an errata to um, where it's kind of like the same thing as Sangin, like you can't use the monster that turn. And uh, it's, it's pretty fair, honestly. Uh, so it's pretty nice to see her uh, that she's back. And especially with Link monsters being a thing now, um, she'll definitely have a lot more use um, in certain decks. And um, Skarm being put down to two. I'm sure it's being put down. I, I don't think it's being put up. I think it's being put down to two. Um, I could be wrong. But um, yeah, I mean, Burning Abyss, uh, this is like a real good searcher for Burning Abyss. And uh, Tour Guide, although it's still at one over there, they do still have a lot of the um, Burning Abyss cards at three. So um, it is, I think it's a fair, um, fair call to put Skarm at two. And lastly, we have Rescue Cat at 2, which um, I don't think is a bad choice. It's uh, Rescue Cat's kind of fair. Um, it's been power creeped, and uh, it's had a bit of an errata, so um, I, I think it's definitely fine to be at 2. So next off for the spell cards, which we have quite a bit of semi-limited spell cards here. Uh, Burial from a Different Dimension, Card of Demise, Preparation of Rites, Sacrifice, Dark Hole, Terraforming, Union Hanger, Wavering Eyes, and Dragon's Ravine. Um, since there's only one trap, you know, it's it's just Solemn Strike. So, Burial, I, I think, honestly, I, I it's been at one for too long, in my opinion. I don't think it should have been at one for as long as it was. Um, I, I really have to see the crazy combos with this card to really justify it. Um, staying at one uh, for so long, but I, I think Konami's just kind of like forgot about it. It's like, oh, this card's still limited. Let's just put it up to two and see, you know, what happens. Because we have, because you know, you, you don't see it used that often, you know. So, card demise, uh, being helmet sucks. I mean, uh, uh, not being helmet, but helmet decks are just get this a little hit. Um, it's still at two, and it still could be a plus two if you use at the right time. Um, so, it definitely. I think it's fair to put that at two. Preparation of rights. Um, I guess Necroz. They want to give Necroz a little bit of an edge again. Um, they're they're kind of dead. And then there's Cyber Angel, uh, Heralds. Um, those as well. They could they they could have back two preps. Um, since uh, those aren't really too strong right now as well. I mean they they might be strong in the future, but right now they aren't really too strong. So sacrifice. Um, Cleese are still. Cleese are at full power in the OCG right now, and the fact that they aren't doing much uh, does say a lot about um, not only how much um, the new Link rules affect the game of Yu-Gi-Oh, but um, how much they hurt Pendulums as well. Because the fact that uh, the Pendulum Zones not take up the back row means that Cleese, although they can ru still run a Pendulum deck, um, it would be harder for them because uh, they'll have less back row use if they have a scales up. Like if they have scout and monolith up, they, they can only have three back row uh, uh, at the same time versus before where they'd be able to have five back row. So, you know, you'd have more um, protection before rather than now. Um, dark hole, I think dark hole should have been at two. Um, I, I don't know if this is bringing up or bringing down. I think it's bringing up from one and I, I think it's fair. Honestly, we have Dark Hole at two over here, and it's not doing much, so um, definitely a good bring up. Um, terraforming, 
I'm not entirely sure why they would semi-limit it, but I guess uh, less access to Jacona Diagram because putting that at one and keeping terraforming at three would have kind of been a bad decision. So because it still would have been like you're playing three Jacona Diagram, so I guess or four actually. So I guess putting it at two kind of makes it even. Uh, semi-limit Union Hanger. I don't know if it was limited. You see, that's the thing. I really don't know if it was coming up or coming down. Some of these cards. And um I I guess it's I guess it's fair. I mean ABCs aren't that broken, but they do have some crazy combos um and some good loops as well, so um I'm not gonna hate on Union Hanger I see I think it's fair. Wavering eyes on the come up. I, I know wavering eyes is definitely coming up from uh one or being banned, I forgot which one it is. Um pendulums won't be as strong anymore, so less people are are, more, are, are likely to play it, so um Wavering Eyes coming back really isn't a big deal. Um, it can still be a good side deck against Pendulum decks, and you know, it can still be good to use if you yourself are using a Pendulum deck. So, um, but you know, this is the OCG, so this doesn't really apply to TCG and where we are right now. This is, this is more of just an example of what we would like out of the TCG Konami. You know, actual dates on our ban list, you know, not just, oh, somewhere in August, or, oh, you know, whenever it's ready, you know, like, actual dates, and, uh, actual, you know, ban list, you know, like, not just one or two cards just to hit only relevant decks, like, we want stuff to come back as well, like, we don't only want stuff to get hit, we want good stuff to come back. So, Dragon Ravine at two, um, I remember it going up to three in the OCG, so I think this is a hit down to two. So maybe it's in anticipation for Cyber Darks, so um, that's definitely. Uh, I, I, I guess it's okay. I, I don't really see too much of a reason to put it down to two now. I guess they're just scared. Um, and one, well, not one. Uh, Solemn Strike being put to two, which I think is fair. Solemn Strike is pretty broken and does have a lot of strength in this meta game. Um, I don't think it's broken enough to be limited, but. Because I, I do still think Konami wants to uh, make the money that, uh, that they can off of this card before they really bring it down and like to one and make it like one of those obscure cards that you question whether you should play it or not. So on the unbanned side, we got eight cards here. So we got BLS, um, Envoy of the Beginning being unbanned, uh, Wisdom My Magician, Goyo Guardian, Armageddon Knight, DD Swirl Slime, uh, Ignis there. Uh, Bryonic and Brain Control. So, BLS is definitely interesting. We haven't seen BLS uh, really come back to full power for a long time now. Like, maybe a few, maybe like over a decade since he's been um, back at three. And it definitely is crazy to see him back here um, in full strength. And But, you know, not a lot of people play him. It's like people have stopped playing him. He hasn't really, he isn't really that strong anymore. Maybe it's just because of Link Format, they do want to really test the waters of how bad it could get. So I, I'm definitely, I definitely don't mind. Maybe BLS decks might actually have a chance now, although I still doubt it. Um, because of how inconsistent the deck can be at times. So next we have Wisdom Eye Magician. Wisdom Eye is, uh, you know, this is one of those things where I, I think it's, it's fair. You know, we have it at three over here in anticipation for the new. Um, mi Pendulum Magician set, so I think from this point on they're going to be more lenient towards Pendulum Monsters and um, Pendulum decks, simply because the new mechanic kind of ruined Pendulum a bit, because um, they can't Pendulum Summon as much um, on their first turn, and you know they're used just using Pendulums in general kind of puts you at a disadvantage, you know, because that was the thing about Pendulum before is that they usually had a slow startup, but you know once they came back it was like oh my God five monsters out of nowhere. And now they can still kind of do that if you have the right cards, but um, it's harder for them to come back because A, the pendulum use up more resources, and B, uh, you, you don't get back as much, so it's harder to come back with pendulums now. Uh, Goyo Guardian at 3, he got his errata to where one of the materials have to be Earth Monster and, uh, and Earth Monster, so um, definitely understandable at 3. Also, he's a Synchro, so extra deck monsters kind of are dying out um 
I wonder how his interaction would work with a Link monster, because the monster would have to be summoned in defense mode. So I don't know if he would still be able to summon the monster or not. But um, if he destroys a Link monster by battle and you get to special summon that Link monster to your side of the field, I think that would be amazing. But if you can't summon it because it can't be in defense mode, then that would suck. I, I, would, I would have to look up that ruling. So um, Armageddon Knight, um, finally at three. Um, I, I guess more decks can abuse him now. Uh, there is decks like Dark Synchro and like DDs that can really use him. But I guess him being at three isn't really too much of a big deal anymore since, you know, now they're doing it. I guess, you know, because of Link format. So Swirl Slime, um, definitely uh, coming up in the clutch now. Um, he is still one of the best DD monsters. I think probably the best DD monster in uh, in the game right now, in my opinion, because he kind of brings it all together. Um, because, you know, you could say that Lamia does get the combos, uh, does really make the combos, but without Swirl Slime, you know, you can't do half the stuff you do. You know, because he not like he has two effects in one turn where you can you pretty much bring out two monsters off of one card thanks to Swirl Slime. So I think he's really is. Um, you know, it's funny that the OCG had DDDs at full power when they could actually be good. You know, because by the time that um, America or the TCG got uh, DDDs at full power, um, they were power creeped by Zeus a week later. So it was kind of unfair for them. They never really got their chance to shine the spotlight in the TCG, which is kind of sad. But, you know, in the OCG, they did, but, you know, they got hit, and now they're coming back. But since it's Link era, um, they definitely won't be as strong. So, Ignister going up to three. Um, honestly, I don't know how to feel about it. Ignister is pretty broken, but then again, Pendulum, Pendulums did go down, you know, in... Uh, in, 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 you know, just playing pendulums are, are, is automatically more of a risk now. So, um, pendulum monsters are kind of risky to play. So it's 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 definitely fair, you know, to have Ignis start three. Uh, you may not even be able to make three of him, you know, in the duel simply because you know relink the rules and everything, you know. And he's a synchro, you know. Uh, Bryonic, same thing, he's a synchro, so, you know, all these extra deck monsters now, they have less of a reason to stay on the ban list, because, uh, it's like, you won't be able to spam them too much, unless you have, like, Link monsters in your deck as well, like, a lot of Link monsters in your deck, and, um, there's definitely gonna be a lot of times where it's like, you wouldn't be able to summon, uh, more than one synchro monster, or, you know, the synchro monsters aren't really that useful, because, you know, you have to go into Link Monsters first. And lastly, Brain Control, because of the errata, brain, co brain Control can only take monsters that can be normal summoned, so it can only take monsters that are main deck monsters, and honestly, it can still be, it can still have its uses, but it's not that good anymore, you know, because most times, most people would end their turn with a board that, you know, would actually be able to do something, um, you know, maybe with an extra monster, maybe with a link, maybe with an exceed. A lot of times, not with a monster that can be normal summoned. So, overall, I think this ban list is actually pretty nice. And what, and this is an example of what the TCG Konami should do more often. Um, honestly, the TCG Konami has been slacking in the past ban list. Um, now, like these days, they've been making this wait, and they've been getting us a pretty mediocre ban list, and it's kind of saddening. But, you know, at the same time, um, we don't really have, you know, a voice in how the balance should go. They've kind of cut off and did their own thing. You know, they don't follow three-month four maps anymore. They just do whatever they want. Whenever they need to push Podark, let, let's just make a balance that unbans all the good Magician cards on the list. You know, whenever we need to, um, you know, whenever we feel a deck is too strong, we just make an emergency balance. Just hit Norton and hit Grasses Greener because, you know, screw um, 60 card decks because of their lack of interaction. You know, I like, I, I feel like TCG Konami is doing it all wrong. And um, the OCG is definitely, you know, there's definitely a lot to be desired um, by looking at the OCG and how well they're doing it over there. So, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say for now. Um, 
really do enjoy this balance. Um, I might do a in depth, a more in depth discussion on certain card choices um, in the future, but um, for now, um, I guess I'll have to say this was your boy Nistro here. Nistro, out.